This is the most dangerous game of the whole season. Oh. Top of the table versus bottom of the table, but let's not slip on that banana. Yes, Gaffer. Are we ready? Always ready, man. Always ready. You been at a training camp? No, I was just training in Germany. I heard it was a trouble getting yeah, back, wasn't it? everything was shot. I heard Chairman even said he would drive over there to yeah. get you if he asked We'd to. do anything for the legacy. How are we doing? Just surveying the scene. Captain's here. What's happening, man? Alright. Go, Yeah, good, good. Here they are. <laughs> we got the customers at the ready. <laughs> what have we got in the basket? Gaffin said I might be in. I hear you've been training a lot though. Yeah, I've been training hard, man. But, you know, it's handling the TTD pressure when you're out there. It doesn't matter how much you practice, you've got to be able to handle it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the tech guy never stops. He never stops, mate. Pockets over slept, cat. That's it, he's just got up. Oh, what do you say? He's over slept, he's here, beer soon. That's got to be a fine, isn't it? Over sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Ready? We're top of the table at the moment. We've got to stay there, that's the goal, isn't it, chair? Certainly is, yeah. I don't see why we can't. TikTok stuff. Are you playing against us? Big game, man. Big game. Let's go. See you in the court. See you there. Sorry, mate. Didn't get a fine for that. Uh, you know, I'll have to pay for that. <laughs> I'll have to pay for it, man. The fans is looking strong, Froggy. He is. He's been ready, man. He's been practicing hard. He's ready. Oh, what more can you say? It's like a ready break. Ah. Right, boys. We're top of the league. Our next match is against a team who hasn't actually won a game yet. So they're going to be coming for us. We've got to be ready. We want to stay at the top. And I've got this team, and they're going to do it for us. Number one, Tom the Frog. Strong number two is Captain. Let's go. Let's go. Number three, the guys ain't gonna know what's gonna come for them. With Even we don't know. The ring is at number three. Yay. Let's go. Yeah. And being our number four, our banker, our solid member of the team, oh, it's the founder. Let's go, guys. Come on. This is the most dangerous game of the whole season. Top of the table versus bottom of the table, but let's not slip on that banana. First point, every point, serious, concentrated, pride, passion. That's what we specialise in. We need to be 100% every ball, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna count on you lot. Are you gonna take TTD off the top spot today? Oh yeah, we'll be definitely looking to push them off the top, and that's off about them, so. <laughs> yeah, that's it, to change it a bit. Yeah. You go up, they go down. What's going on guys, we're back. It's TTD SL round four. In this episode, we take on hosts, Cardiff. We're currently top of the table, Cardiff are still in the swamp, but they've got a point to prove. No matches are easy in TTD SL. You heard the gas lineup, Frog, Captain, Ringer, and myself. Our opponents, Niall Cameron, a Scottish international player. Lloyd Gregory, pro frying pan player. Ryan Owen, former Welsh international. And coming in at four, Mark Castro, a TikTok star. First up in the pond, we've got the frog as he takes on Lloyd Gregory. Let's get into it. All right, here we go then. It's Tom the frog versus the frying pan wizard, Lloyd Gregory. And at least this time, he's got a bat in his hand. And finds the opener there. Good counter frog. These two know each other's game well. They train with each other when they're younger. It's going to be an interesting one. Yeah, I reckon mean, I mean, lots of rallies. So there were some solid rallies in the first. Oh, 
Tom takes it. One nil. His name's the chairman. If only he could sit on one. Tom here in a one-nil lead. Good pressure there from the frog. Moving Lloyd around well. Gets a set point. Nice backhand combo. Frog, 2 0. Talking of Christmas, it's come early for the frog. Tom fires up the sleigh and delivers. Tom takes the match 3 0. He deserves a mince pie after that one. TTD 1, Cardiff 0. When it comes to Christmas time, Mary and Joseph can take you to Bethlehem to meet baby Jesus. <laughs> Little donkey. It's tough life being the gaffer man, but when you make this, it's all worth it. So in the next match, then, the captain takes on Noel Cameron, known for his spinny shots. And there's an example of one. Oh, all a flick cap. Now spinning the ball well here, gets a set point. Shaky star here from the captain, struggling with the spin. Goes 1 0 down. He is sleeping. He just needs to wake up. Come on. The captain must have heard the pocket. He wakes up in the next two sets and goes on a mad one. The whip has awoken. So Captain here has got a set point and takes it, goes into a 2-1 lead. Much better than a captain. What we want. Why electric eel? Just whip like <laughs> the ball's gone. With Captain there's just like a no nonsense blur. As soon as he gets his loose one, he's gonna go into it and that's it. The Scottish crab is gone. <laughs> Scottish crab. Yeah, that's what I call him. I call him the Scottish crab because he's got like this little crab stance, isn't it? And you see, you know what? He's, he loves it, he loves it. Half an hour ago, that, he was on the beach. Yeah. Now suddenly he's here, the captain. He's 2 1 down. He's thinking, where's my bucket and spade? <laughs> you know, the Scottish crab, he never gives up, right? You always find a way to crawl back into the game. Like. <laughs> We're in the fifth. Cap sends in the whip. It's a six five here to Nile. <laughs> the captain's been watching the chairman too much with that forehand. Oh. There's eight six to Nile at the moment. Nice backhand cap. Ah, misses the trademark. Two match points to Nile. One match point saved. Oh, and all of all the shots, Noel wins on the heavy spin. The Cardiff player beats the captain 3-2 and levels the overall match score. It's 1-0. Tough match for the captain there. He showed some real spirit. 
and that's what I like to see from the cats. That's what I like to see from all the boys. But one all, game on. So in the next match, the ringer took on Mark Castro. The ringer battled hard in the first and went one nil down. Now in the second set, the ringer started to find some levels and upped his game. He even pulled with this crazy reverse chop lock. So Ringer with the old faithful, the reverse serve. Oh, the way he stepped into that. Ringer seals a second. It's one all in sets. Just checking their rackets, man. Are they legit? Yeah. <laughs> Not illegal? <laughs> this is decent. I think I'm gonna have to disqualify this team here. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Uh, it's just got a bit of gap here, and it just doesn't look very nice on the edges. <laughs> now guys, in a previous life, before the Olympics, Ringer had a flashback to when he was a hardened gladiator. We join him in the Colosseum, let the battle begin. <laughs> That's our first ever 11 yeah. 0 on the TTD team. Tactical genius. Spud me, man. Spud me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so the gladiator's got himself a 2 1 lead. Now, guys, let us know in the comments below would you beat someone 11 0? <laughs> Ring in full confidence right now. Lovely forehand. The ringer goes way back. He knows the game so well. Good boy. The ringer's got himself a match point. Oh, clips the net. Oh, he takes the match. The ringer defeats Mark Castro 3 1 and puts TTD in a 2 1 lead over Cardiff. What a result from the ringer there. I'm going to call this guy the ruthless ringer. Right? <laughs> Absolutely. Savage. Ruthless. What a battle. So let's see what the assigned mixed reality data gives us from the match. So here's the overall stats. As you can see, the ringer only had 13 unforced errors in the match to Mark's 28. Now we all know ringer's reverse serve is deadly, but check out just how effective it is. He used his reverse serve 18 times in a match, which won him the point 78% of the time, with the best placement being into the backhand corner. Some interesting stats. So if you want to see how Asai can improve your game and have all this fantastic data, be sure to check out Asai.ai for more. Let's get back to it. If anyone could do a top spin, it's the ringer. The weight transfer is just incredible. All the power he gets is from his body. He just goes, he goes into it. This is going to be a very interesting match, this one. I'm looking forward to it. Do you know anything about Daniel's opponent? Yeah. He's a I good know. player? Hey, he's a good player. Yes, yes, what's happening, guys? It's the gaffer here. I'm back on the mic, and we've got the founder versus Ryan Owen. Oh, right, getting the big counter in there. Yeah, some good forehands there from the founder. Gets himself a set point. Nice, takes it. And basically, I sent a text and I looked up, the game was over. <laughs> what is going on here? So, in sets two and three, founder went to his local spin class. Check this out. himself a match point not bad founder that training's been paying off yeah been training hard man 
who wins the match 3 0 and puts the team into a 3 1 lead. Cheers, guys. Well, well, Come on, Foggy. Lucy Goosey. <laughs> Lucy Goosey, yeah. Relax. Relax, Peter. Relax. I'm telling you now, this, this match ain't over. Neil and Tom is going to be an interesting game. This is going to be a battle of the consistency. This is table tennis at its finest. The number one going at it. All right, people, before we get into the next matchup, let's see what else happened in round four of TTD SL. Some crazy moments. It's a Scottish crab. Come on, let's go. So the number one's Clash. Oh, Frog leaps all over that one. Got it! Oh, nice one. Nice combo. Now follows up with a seafood meal deal. They don't come cheap. Oh, no, clumps it. He must have learned that one from Charles Morgard a few years back. 9-7 to Frog. Good spin, gets a set point. Graft in, takes the opener. Good Foggy. Good from the Frog? Yeah, yeah, solid performance. You know, number one player, number one performance. Have you seen any donkeys yet? Nah, no, surprisingly not. Probably because I haven't played them. Is that what it is? You know what, I absolutely hate Duncan. I think I've got better at high balls now because yeah, I'm just know. Because I'm just know that. Oh my god, if I don't put this away, there it is. Sometimes I don't even try and put it away. I just go, look, let's get this, just play this one strong because <laughs> the donkey's in your head, man. <laughs> the founder of Donkey of the Day, <laughs> right here. <laughs> in the second set here, there were some big rallies. Oh, massive. Locked at 9-9. Strong point from now. Gets a set point. Got it! Tom bounces back. It's 11 all. Oh! Go! And he takes a 2-0 lead. It's a game of inches. Oh, Tom. The rocket. He's like Elon Musk, this guy. He's SpaceX. <laughs> the SpaceX of table tennis. Here we got the third, it was neck and neck. Go! Frog managed to get himself a match point. Oh! However, Noel clawed his way back and took the set. It's 2 1. We got this, man. He's got this. He's going to win. Tom's got himself a 2 1 lead here then in sets. Loaded. So the frog here has got himself a 7 3 lead. Yeah! Nice. Frog taking no prisoners. The crowd's been caught in the net. The frog sends Noel back to the harbour with that win. TTD team 4, Cardiff 1. For the ladies! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> in match six, the ringer took on the consistent Lloyd. These two went neck and neck throughout and it went to the fifth. However, in the third set, the ringer had a nightmare. No! 
Jan is so unpredictable. I mean, even I don't know what, what's going to happen. Pock is right. You never really know what Ring is going to bring. But we do know in this set, he steps it up. Oh, ring a fly in then, nice back in there to finish up. He takes the match 3-2 and puts TTD in a 5-1 lead. Yeah. I think he's won two there. Strong performance. Strong performance from the ringer. See what's happening here, right? His beast is itching to get yeah, out of there. Look at him, look, look. Do it, do it. Cap cam on him. He's got a devil meat on his eye. He wants that. He wants to play so much. He's actually always doing sick right now, he's not playing the match. So we've all obviously seen the recent World Table Tennis Championships in Texas, with the winners all in Western hats. But really, there's only one sheriff in town, and that's the captain. Here he is then, taking on Brian Owen. Hey! <laughs> Yo, editor, chuck that one in the top 10 reel. What a shot. Oh, captain left the stable door open. The horse bolted. Quality cap. Strong serve, set point. Ryan Fort serves, it's 1 0. I'm captain, big sight, yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> Cardiff player wants this. Somebody bottle up the cap's whip. It's worth a fortune. <laughs> At table tennis tournaments, they need a warning sign made. Don't serve long to the captain's whip. 2-0. The captain maintained his strong form and closed the match out. The cap defeats Ryan 3-0 and hangs his bat up for another day. TTD 6, Cardiff 1. <laughs> captain was like a surgeon there, he was clinical. He had the surgeon scrubs on, disinfect the hands, bish bash bosh, do the operation job done. They come here, watch the pocket, and they even blind. You're done. Any chance we can see that out of position pivot? I miss it, man. I'll chuck one in. The signature pivot. This one. This one. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 6 1 to us. It's the last match, and we know that every win counts for the title race. Last one of the day, and it's the battle of the socials. With Mark taking the opener 11 9. So Founder's under a bit of pressure here, but in the second and third set, he stepped it up a notch. Set point to the founder. Loving the graph founder. He takes a 2-1 lead. What a shot. He's come to it again like the chairman. Like father, like son. <laughs> that is textbook. Get the sound effects on that one. Is it just me? Or has the founder learned the backhand from somewhere? Pitchford Masterclass, anyone? Ah, sorry. Too good. Founder sends in the dribble. Founder's looking so comfortable. It's like a cat on the, on the end of the bed. He's just lying there, 
He's purring, happy, warm, comfortable. Scratching. Scratching, biting. Steady, steady. Gets a match point. Oh, clips the net, brutal. Founder gets the win, 3-1. TTD 7, Cardiff 1. Keeps us top of the table with our three toughest matches to come. Follow Legacy, gaffer out. Good, good stuff guys, good win. That wasn't easy. Massive result. I don't underestimate those guys. Got the W. 7-1, fantastic win. It keeps us top of the table. Do this. Chet, you got man of the match? Oh, I have, yeah. There's a couple of strong contenders today. I'm going with the man we know little about. The well done, well done, Ringer. There's a couple of donkeys in the match, I've got to say. But Ringer, that was a big donkey. <laughs> big I realise. Uh, you got man of the match mad, and, and, and donkey. the donkey. Yeah. The donkey double. The donkey double. So guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to like, subscribe. Let's get 6K likes. Thanks for watching.